Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today I want to solve Sample 2-3 Question is uh, As shown in figure E 2-3 A tornado can be approximated by the free vortex of a strength gamma for R greater than RC where RC is the radius of the core Velocity measurement at point A and B indicate that VA equal to 38 meter per second and VB equal to 18 meter per second. So the question is determine the distance from point A to the center of the tornado. So what is the question all about? This is the this question actually related to the basic potential flow. The question want to know the your understandings on the concept of velocities in the vortex all right let us you to measure the distance from point a to the center of the tornado so what are going we are going to get in this uh, question we we'll actually try to solve in this question in this problem actually we try to determine this distance i put this as a x so this is what the question all about. They ask us to this question asks us to solve this distance to determine this distance. All right. Before we proceed, before we proceed, I just to recall or to revise you or all of you the basic equations that related to the vortex. One is we know the potential flow for the vortex is given by K theta, where K is the, this K is a constant. And then for strain functions, we have the psi equal to minus k ln r so in order to determine this uh, velocities va and vb this vortex this potential flow and this uh, strain function given by can be determined using this equations so these two from these two equations we can determine the u theta which is this u theta is equal to 1 over r del p del theta also equal to the minus del psi del r which is what we get either from u theta actually we have k over so we're going to use these equations in order to solve this problem why because of the velocity v theta and vb all right i just maybe some of you confused because maybe you have learned from the fluid mechanics one where we know that the u theta equal to omega R. Okay, but in this equation, why the u theta equal to the k over r? Okay, don't be confused because we have two type of uh, vortex. All right, vortex. Bear in mind that these equations, this equation is purposely for free vortex whereas these equations for force vortex in this problem we have both one is force vortex and another one is a free vortex which is we call it the combined vortex 
what is a combined vortex? We combine the force vortex and the free vortex, which is the free vortex, uh, force vortex, uh, u theta actually equal to omega r only valid for r less than r not whereas uh, u theta equal to k over r this is valid for r greater than r not what is r not r not is the radius of the central core this is the r not this is a radius of central core. All right, go back to our question. So we're going to solve this. The equation, the most important equations that we're going to solve now is the u theta. This, this is equal to k over all right, already given to us u theta at point A, which is this is equal to 38 meter per second. Meter per second, which is this is happen at R A. So U theta equal to thirty eight meter per second at R A. Therefore, we can get the value of K equal to thirty eight R A. Okay, and then we have another. Velocity, given velocity is a uh, u theta at point B, which is this is given to us 18 meter per second and happens at R B. Therefore, in this equation, we know that the value of K equal to 18 R B. Therefore, from these equations, therefore, from these equations, we know this is also k and this is also k. Let's say I put this as equation 1, this is equation 2. So, equations 1 equal to equations 2 so therefore we can have 38 r a equal to 18 r b so another information that we have here actually we have the distance from r a to r b where we know that the R A so R B minus R A this is equal to 30 meter as what shown here in this equation here yes okay that's what given to you here 30 meter so now if you do this simplifications and then again you will get this RB equal to 30 plus R A. Alright, so now you substitute these equations to this one substitute this one to this one so what we have here is a 38 r a 
equal to 18 multiplied by 30 plus RA. Then if you solve this, you get it in the 20 RA equals to 5 0 then we know that RA equals to 27 meter right hope you understand how to solve this problem and then you know what is the basis of the vortex with that thank you very much